The Bible provides various insights and principles regarding the concept of saving money. While it may not explicitly outline modern financial strategies, it offers timeless wisdom on stewardship, diligence, and responsibility in managing resources. Here is a comprehensive summary of what the Bible says about saving money. Wisdom in Saving The book of Proverbs, in particular, emphasizes the value of wisdom in financial matters. Proverbs 21:20 advises that the wise store up resources, indicating the importance of foresight and planning for the future. Anticipating Needs Proverbs 6 6-8 draws on the example of ants, which gather and store food in preparation for times of scarcity. This metaphor encourages believers to be diligent in anticipating future needs and to engage in thoughtful, purposeful planning. Counting the Cost The New Testament, in Luke 14 28-30, suggests the importance of counting the cost before undertaking any significant endeavor. This principle extends to financial matters, encouraging individuals to assess their financial situation and plan wisely for their future needs and goals. Avoiding extravagance. Several biblical passages caution against extravagance and living beyond one's means. Proverbs 21:17 warns against indulging in excessive pleasures, emphasizing the importance of moderation and self-control in financial matters. Seeking God's guidance. Proverbs 3 5-6 encourages believers to trust in the Lord with all their hearts and not lean on their understanding. Seeking God's guidance in financial decisions is a recurring theme in the Bible, promoting a reliance on divine wisdom and providence. Generosity and Charity While saving is emphasized, the Bible also advocates for a generous and charitable attitude. Proverbs 11:25 suggests that a generous person will prosper reinforcing the idea that financial well-being is not solely about accumulation but also about a willingness to share with others. Prioritizing Eternal Wealth The New Testament, particularly in Matthew 6 19-21, urges believers to prioritize treasures in heaven rather than earthly treasures. This perspective encourages a focus on eternal values and relationships over the pursuit of wealth for its own sake. Hard Work and Diligence The Bible consistently promotes the virtues of hard work and diligence. Proverbs 13:11, for instance, highlights that wealth gained hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. This underscores the value of consistent effort and disciplined saving. The Bible encourages believers to approach money with wisdom, diligence, and responsibility. It emphasizes the importance of planning for the future, avoiding extravagance, seeking divine guidance, and balancing the pursuit of financial goals with a generous and charitable spirit. The overarching theme is one of stewardship, recognizing that all resources ultimately belong to God and should be managed with a sense of accountability and purpose. Several individuals in the Bible exemplify the principles of wise financial stewardship, planning, and generosity. Here are a few examples. Abraham, Genesis 14 18-24. 1. After Abraham's victory in battle, he was approached by Melchizedek, the king of Salem and a priest of God. 1. Abraham gave him a tenth of everything as a tithe, demonstrating the practice of giving a portion of one's income back to God, acknowledging God's provision and sovereignty. Nehemiah, Nehemiah 5 14-19 1. Nehemiah, while leading the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem, refused to burden the people with heavy taxes. 1. As governor, he supported himself and his household without taking the customary food allowance, exemplifying a leader's responsibility to manage resources wisely and not exploit those under his authority. Lydia Acts 16 14-15 1. Lydia, a businesswoman in Philippi, was a seller of purple cloth. 1. After hearing Paul's message, she and her household were baptized, and she invited Paul and his companions to stay in her home. 1. Lydia's hospitality and willingness to use her resources for the service of others illustrate generosity and a spirit of giving. Dorcas Acts 9 36-42 1. Dorcas, also known as Tabitha, was a disciple known for her acts of kindness and charity. 1. When she died, the community mourned her loss. 1. Peter, through prayer, raised her from the dead. 1. Dorcas is remembered for her generosity and the positive impact she had on the lives of those in need. King Solomon, 1 Kings 3 5-14. 1. Solomon, known for his wisdom, asked God for discernment and was granted not only wisdom but also wealth and honor. 1. Solomon's reign was characterized by prosperity and careful governance. 1. Though his later years were marked by excess, initially, Solomon exemplified responsible financial leadership. The early Christian community Acts 2 44-45, Acts 4 32-35. 1. 
the early believers in the book of Acts practiced communal living, selling their possessions and sharing with those in need. 1. This demonstrated a commitment to generosity and community support, emphasizing that possessions were to be used for the well-being of all believers. Job, Job 1 1 1-3. Joseph, Genesis 41. Joseph, sold into slavery by his brothers, rose to prominence in Egypt due to his ability to interpret dreams. During the years of plenty, Joseph advised Pharaoh to store up grain for the imminent famine. This demonstrated Joseph's foresight, planning, and responsible management of resources, ultimately saving Egypt and neighboring nations from starvation. Boaz, Book of Ruth. Boaz, a wealthy landowner in the Book of Ruth, demonstrated both generosity and responsible financial practices. He provided extra grain to Ruth, a widow, allowing her to glean in his fields. Boaz also fulfilled the role of kinsman redeemer, marrying Ruth and preserving her deceased husband's family line, showcasing a combination of financial responsibility and compassion. The Widow's Offering, Mark 12 41-44. In the New Testament, Jesus observed a poor widow who contributed two small coins to the temple treasury. Despite her meager means, Jesus commended her, emphasizing the value of her sacrificial giving. This example illustrates the biblical principle that generosity is not determined by the amount given but by the heart's intent. The Good Samaritan, Luke 10 25-37. While not explicitly a financial example, the parable of the Good Samaritan demonstrates the principles of compassion and generosity. The Samaritan, moved by compassion, cared for a wounded stranger, even covering his expenses. This illustrates the broader biblical theme of using one's resources to help those in need. Paul's Financial Advice, 1 Corinthians 16 1-2. In his letter to the Corinthians, the Apostle Paul provided practical financial advice regarding the collection for the saints. He instructed them to set aside money on the first day of the week, emphasizing the importance of regular, intentional giving and planning for the support of others. Zacchaeus, Luke 19 1-10. Zacchaeus, a tax collector, encountered Jesus and, as a result, committed to giving half of his possessions to the poor and repaying fourfold to anyone he had defrauded. This example reflects a transformation in attitude towards wealth and a commitment to financial restitution and generosity. These biblical examples showcase a range of financial principles, including planning for the future, generosity toward others, responsible management of resources, and the recognition that one's financial practices should align with biblical values and principles. Implementing the biblical principles of financial stewardship, planning, and generosity involves a combination of practical actions and a shift in mindset. Here's a step-by-step guide based on the lessons and examples provided. Self-assessment and reflection. Take time to reflect on your current financial habits, attitudes, and goals. Consider areas where you can improve in terms of saving, spending, and giving. Set financial goals. Define short-term and long-term financial goals. This could include creating an emergency fund, saving for a specific purchase, planning for retirement, or contributing to charitable causes. Create a budget. Develop a realistic budget that outlines your income, expenses, and savings goals. Allocate a portion of your income for savings, ensuring that you prioritize both short-term and long-term financial objectives. Avoid extravagance. Practice moderation in your lifestyle. Avoid unnecessary expenses and live within your means. Proverbs 21:17 encourages moderation and self-control in financial matters. Generosity and giving. Cultivate a spirit of generosity. Allocate a portion of your income to charitable giving, supporting causes that align with your values. This reflects biblical principles of sharing with those in need. Educate yourself. Continuously educate yourself on financial matters. This could include reading books, attending financial seminars, or seeking advice from financial professionals. Proactively seeking knowledge aligns with the biblical emphasis on wisdom. Practice diligence and hard work. Approach your work with diligence and a strong work ethic. Proverbs 13 11 emphasizes the value of hard work and consistent effort in financial matters. Encourage a culture of financial responsibility. Share these principles with your family, friends, or community.